Hello everyone. So this is Return of the Obra Din, which is sort of a exploration puzzle -y type game. It has a very distinctive art style. And actually, let me go ahead and mess with this. So it lets us change kind of the color scheme, sort of. That's so bread. Oof. I like this. This is okay. Maybe. Or this. Ooh, I like this. It's nice and dark. We might mess with around with it, but let's start with this for now. It's like some of the other ones I, I winced looking at the screen. Let's go ahead and begin. No fate solved. Begin. Lost at Sea, 1803, the good ship Obra Din. Built in London in 1796, 800 tons with an 18-foot draught. draft. Captain R. Witterell, 51 men, last voyage to the Orient, and did not make it back to the Cape. Part of the East India Company, or London, uh, Great Britain's East India Company, or England's. Okay. So it's somewhere lost in the Indian Sea, Indian Ocean. Attention, Chief Inspector Insurance and Claims London Office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare for a full assessment. I can't interact. Maybe. Okay, I need space to continue. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Obra Din. <laughs> Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Oh wow. Okay. Look at this. Ooh, I'm actually feeling a little seasick almost. <laughs> um can I talk to you? I can zoom in a little. I'm not sure I like that look. Let's see what the other ones look like. Uh, eh. uh. Well, we'll stick with this for now. <laughs> oh, it's very, very weird looking. Can I ring the bell? No. I'm sure this game's going to involve all sorts of nautical terms that I don't know. What is that? I don't know. It's a little glowy mark. Oh my. Okay. Like, no one's removed the remains yet. Okay. I'm very curious about what that is. But I can't seem to do anything with it. I'm coming. Well, can you toss it up or something? What is this little thing right there? Like I'm reaching out to grab it. 
Take it yourself or open it here. I have a book. This art style is t it's hard to get used to, but it's quite interesting. Return of the Obra Dinn, a catalog of adventure and tragedy. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Obra Dinn. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Obra Dinn is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter, chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Why am I giving this to the French? It was part of England's East India Company, right? Interesting. Okay. The journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea. Glossary, back cover. Oh, well, this is so detailed. I love it. So the Atlantic leg of the Far East route. The Azores. Oops. Like, I have a little thing, but I can't seem to do anything with it. The Canary Islands, Cap Verde. We're not going to St. Helena? Okay. I don't know all the all the little islands. I feel bad. I should know more about history. I'm terrible. Ugly American and all that. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, let me go back to the beginning just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, the ship. So okay, starting at the top at the the main deck, we've got. Routes to the captain's quarters and the passenger's quarters. And a stairs down and a stairs down. One down, we have the bosun and the bosiniet. I don't know what this word is. Bosiniet? The second mate, the fourth mate. First mate, third mate. So, officers are one down. And then, we don't know what this is. Then, the orlop. Okay, so this is... Okay, the main deck is the top, then the gun deck, then the orlop deck, which has apparently the crew quarters, surgery, cursors, passengers, a corridor on both sides, gunner's store, and carpenters. And then all the way at the bottom, we have the cargo hold, which has a lazarette. Is that a real thing? So, captain's cargo, passenger cargo. What's the bosun store? Is that like ship supplies? I and mean, I guess this would just be general cargo. Okay. The crew. Robert Witterell is the captain. And then a whole bunch of other people. Mostly English, some Austrians. Fate. Who is Robert Witterell? I have no idea. Um, how am I supposed to know this? Is he that guy? <laughs> Maybe he's that guy. Okay, we don't know. How, we don't know what to do with this. No, leave that alone. What else can we do here? Sketches of life aboard the Oberdin. Okay, so this was just like we were looking at. I can click on somebody and it shows me a portrait.
a little zoomed in version. Okay. So we're gonna have to identify all these people eventually. Chapter one, loose cargo. Completely blank. On the cargo deck, bitter cold. So he, he mentioned that bargain was something that he had already done. This chapter will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. It's all empty. We're going to have to fill out a lot of pages. Okay. Ooh. What is this supposed to mean? Glossary. Okay. Boatswain. Boatswain. Foreman in charge of the general crew operations and equipment. Okay. We're going to need to know all these things, I'm sure. Purser accounts for cargo. Orlop is under word I don't know. Mid deck, above the lowest. Animal pens. Okay. What is this supposed to be? Memento Mortem. Well, that's what was in the book. This guy's not showing me his face. Or he is. It's just he has a very curious look to him. So that's what we're trying to get at. Top left. Anything else I can mess with around with down here? No. Okay. Back up. The pacing is uh, very slow. I like it. So I can bring the book up. How do I bring the compass up? Ooh, he's glowy. No, that's just the flies. Ah, okay. It just kind of comes up. So this is the captain. That's weird. When I hold E. Yeah. Okay, so it shows the dude. Okay, let's let's go ahead and find him. In the in this. So the crew. The captain. Which one was he? Uh, so he's he's got a, a funny hat and he's close to the guy that's hanging okay open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch okay that's convenient so there we go. So that's the captain. He is this one.
Fate Unknown. Okay, but I've matched them up, so that's, that's good, I guess. He didn't get killed here, he shot somebody. This dude is right next to him. Okay. So do I need to actually... But I don't know which one, who it is. He's got a, ha a funny hat on, though. So he must be someone important. Maybe? Is that the bosun? I don't know. Maybe it's... We'll find out. But either way, we know this guy gets shot. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? Outside the captain's quarters, three others were present. We only know. Who is this? How did they die? I don't know. This unknown soul met an unknown fate. This person got shot with a gun. By the captain. But I don't know who they are. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. This soul appears in one memory. Perished in the end. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. This is really a complex system. Use the buttons at the top to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. Captain, open the door, kick it in, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. Well, I wasn't finished looking at it. We only marked two of the people. Or, I guess, this guy was marked also. We know that's the, uh... We know that's the captain. We know this is the guy who gets killed by the captain. This guy was just kind of sitting around, though. Can I get back into that view? Yeah, okay, good. So he gets shot. Presumably he dies from this. I mean, most people don't get... Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm setting it wrong. There's that guy. He was one of the people shooting. But we don't know who he is. captain himself. But I don't know who you are. Where do I go from here? Like, how do I... Hmm. So is it that he only appears in one memory, or do we only know one memory? Okay. He's got a funny hat. Is there a way we can figure out who that is based on his hat? Maybe check the glossary. Is he one of these people? Hmm. Don't know. Ah. 
I can just walk out. Okay. Oh, there's another person present. Hello. This dude. He's got a knife. He's got like a scar on his head. There he is, up there. Okay, three others are present. We marked them all, okay. So the captain and three others. Anything else going on in the world? Let's go. We need more memories so we can play some context on what's happening. So in the captain's quarters, ooh, where are we? This is not the captain's quarters. This is a passenger cabin. But I don't seem to be able to interact with anything. I'm just going to try to systematically go around. I'm still very curious about what this mark is, but we can't seem to do anything about it. I'm getting used to the art style. Like, it's it's starting to look normal to me. <laughs> Let's check out the other cabins before we go into the captain's. See what can be found. Not much. I guess not giving me a prompt to like open up anything else. Locked. Okay, we have another body. Two more bodies. So that's locked from both sides, right? That's not, it's this little room right here. And that would give an hour access to another crew cabin. There's a knife. Couple knives. Ooh, it's so pretty. Well, kinda. This is an intriguing game, I have to say. Uh, let's go ahead and start with this one. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Oh, my. Okay, someone's being killed. Let's see, just look around to get the scene. We've got a dude falling off the edge. Is it the same guy? I think it is. It's the same guy in the previous scene. He's got a knife. Okay. So he went up around, and he's going to fall back down here and sneak in the back. Okay, so here you are. This dude is now down. He was killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. Who is this? How did they die? I'll, I'll find out in a moment. Where are they? It must be here somewhere. They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. So they were looking for shells. Like shells as in 
seashells or shells as in like uh, firearm or weaponry? But we're not done yet. So this guy definitely did... Well, no, we don't. still don't know he definitely died, but very likely he did. But we still have no clue as to who he is. And the memory, we can't open these doors. No. Alright, let's take a look. So that's the captain. And he's going to survive this. He instead, he cut the throat of this dude. Who was in the previous scene also. Still don't know who he is. So, it said one memory before, but that just meant we only knew about one memory. Oops, not what I meant to do. This guy was knifed, right? It's a knife, or what is it? Yeah, it's a knife. This guy was knifed by the captain. But we don't know who he is. And the captain's surviving this. Though I think he's probably going to get killed by this guy. But we can wait to find out. Anything new going on up here? No. Just that guy jumping over. All right, let's uh, go to the next corpse. So this is the guy that got knifed. And I'm betting this is the captain. But we'll find out. He survived! Well done, Captain! Alright, so you killed this dude. He's choking out on the ground. And you are still alive. Is this guy gonna die? It's not clear. I mean, he's getting hit in the head, but is that enough to kill him? There's blood. And there's a corpse in the ground in about the right spot. So this guy... This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. It indicates you don't have yet sufficient information to determine their identity. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. When the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay. I wasn't trying to get to that. I was trying to get to the... Um, I guess it has to zoom out. It'll like zoom out into a star. So this guy, is his face blurred? Yeah, it's still blurred. We're going to get prompted to figure out who this guy is. Is he the same guy? I don't remember the one above having a mustache. I'm not sure this guy does even. I might just be looking at him weird. Okay, so we know enough about the scene.
this person got clubbed. Or maybe struck? By wings? No. This person got clubbed. By the captain. He wasn't really clubbed, though. He was... Not crushed. Or eaten. Or fell or froze. He got hit by a, a, a spear, but he wasn't impaled on the spear. Struck would be the best word, but it's not letting me... It wouldn't let me do that. I guess... I guess we'll go with we'll go with clubbed. Crushed by things, no. They were clubbed. But we don't know who they are. So is the captain not blurred out now? Because we ha we do have enough identif identif enough information to identify him. That's uh Let's jump back to the crew sketch. So this is the captain. And his face is not blurred, I guess, compared to this guy. Yeah, there's definite difference in the blur level. We know who he is. All right. Well, I don't think there's anything more we can do here. Wow, look at this. The motion is very obvious. This is such a weird game. <laughs> but this door's open now. This door was not open before. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Never mind. I was wrong. There is more going on in this scene. So, this woman is here, and I don't know if she died here or not, but she is either sleeping or unwell. She might be dead. Okay. So, did it update the memory? Wait, wait, can I open these? No, no. Go back to where we were, please. The end. It's this one. It says one other person was present. No, that's wrong. There's many people present in this memory. Like, how do I make that be indicated? Don't know. Okay. But you're at least marked now as a bookmark, right? So you are an unknown person. But I don't have a, a page for you. We'll just have to keep you in mind. So you are here in the captain in, in this... Cr in the... Um, you were in a passenger cabin that had been locked from both sides except for in this one vision. Let's just check to see if there's anything else going on in the world. This is still locked. Still locked. Nothing new there. Nobody knew. Alright, let's go to the next one. I'm not aware of any other bodies, though. Oh! Now this door is open! It was not open before. So our visions are changing the world. As we understand what's going on. Okay. So she did. She died in bed. Okay. Well, I'll begin with this one. Abigail.
Abigail. Okay. Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Oh. Dead. Okay. I'll be with you soon, my love. Okay. Please forgive me. For everything. Okay, as to his side. So this is Abigail. And now her face is clear, so we know we can find out who she is. They can now be identified. Use the pocket, the book and pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifest, sketches, along with individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. So we know this person's named Abigail. Are, are, are there by chance multiple Abigails? Uh, Abigail Hoskett Witterell from Scotland. Let's just look around, make sure there's not another obvious one. It could be Miss Jane Bird. No, she, she's Jane. What am I thinking? I was thinking that it might have been saying Miss Bird, and then Miss could have been Abigail, but it doesn't do that. Unknown. So it. Uh, yeah. We have some unknown names. But can we assume their genders at least? There's no other Abigail so far. But there are unknowns. Okay. Um, I'm going to assume. That it is you, Abigail. Abigail Hoskett Witterell. So you are buried to the captain, which makes sense. You are a passenger. Now that means she was saying that he was um, this person's brother. And your face is now clear. So Hoskett Witterell. And you were talking about your brother, so probably he is also Hoskett. So he was the first mate. William Hoskett. I'm assuming? This may or may not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Fate validation? What exactly does that mean? I like the use of the little the little cord now and then to indicate what's going on. Okay, well, we don't still don't know how you died, but presumably you we're gonna be able to come over here and look at you later. This is all about the captain. So the captain How do we get Oh, we need to wait for Uh Go back to the list, the manifest. So the captain uh, How do I get to the killed himself? Like, where do I put, fill in their fate? No, oh, well. We have to wait for it to pop up. Let's just look around more and see what's going on. So this guy's dead. 
This guy died. This skull got crushed. Anybody new? Nope. Okay, now it's giving us the investigation. Oh, I like this. This is this is not what I expected this to be at all, but it's quite fun. Now, I thought this did not reach the Cape, so I thought it was on its return trip, but I guess not. I guess it was heading out. So, Captain Robert Witterell. Suicided with a gun. No one else was present? You're right, that's true. It's not counting the, the dead people <laughs> as being present. That's a strange thought, though. There's, like, clearly a bunch of other people that we can look at in this memory. But they don't help us. Oof, this is graphic. He shot himself through the heart? Not the head? Don't shoot yourself in the chest. I mean, you can survive a lot of a, a lot of being shot in the chest. Probably not through the heart, but you're much more likely to accidentally hit a rib and then end up with like a a, a sucking chest wound from, because you're pierced your lungs, and then you sit there and di and suffer for um, suffer and suffer for a couple hours until you bleed out to death or suffocate as your lung fills up with blood. Shoot yourself in the head. Make it make it guaranteed and fast. This guy's not going anywhere. That's still shot. This is still shot. Nothing new going on here. We still don't know how she died. Like, she's here doesn't mean she died here. She could have died somewhere else and um, and just been placed here. Let's leave. Go to the next one. What is this? I don't know what that means. Are those the fate markers? Anyway, we're not done yet. We still have one more vision, at least. So she was talking to someone named Martin. Was it this person? Is your face clear? Oh. Yeah. Okay, your face is clear. So we can assume Martin Perot? Parrot? Pro? Might be wrong, but I'm betting. Poor Abigail was crushed. Oh my. Oh my. What? what what's go what? What is going on here? They were attacked by like <laughs> a giant octopus, a kraken of some sort. There's so many people here. We can just look at each one briefly. I didn't even notice that until I was so focused on her getting killed. Okay. Give me the dull death sequence.
the Doom, way back in Chapter 7. Just north of the Canary Islands. The corpse was moved after death. And there were so many other people present. She was calling to someone. That, yeah, we already we already marked Martin. And you were crushed by rigging. Ah, okay. So it's it's handwritten versus typed in. This is this is bizarre. What is this supposed to be? Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Like I'm not done yet. I wanna look around more. I can't even get back to her. I know it wants me to do something, it's obvious, but I want to look around more. There were some people over here attacking it. Like this guy with the top hat. Oh my, look at this. This guy with some tattoos. Looks like he got cut in half. Uh, yeah, this is this is the guy that uh, got clubbed. We already know what happened to him. Oops, I clicked. Oh well. What is going on? New bodies have appeared. Okay. Did we get everything we wanted from this one though? I'm not I don't know. I feel like I feel like I was a bit rushed. But let's go ahead. Well we can look at this one. This is the guy with that tattoos. We got ripped in half by like an eldritch abomination. Like literally ripped in half. That's the top half from up there. Is that the captain? No, that's someone else entirely. This person's already dead. You're sitting there doing nothing. You got a funny hat, though, so maybe you're important. You're just holding on to the... whatever that thing is. Who is this and how did they die? I have no idea who they are, no idea at all, but they were ripped in half. Torn apart by an, un by an unknown beast, by a beast, or I guess not by other people.
but by a beast. By a terrible beast. And a whole bunch of other people were present at the same time. It was a terrible scene. Before we move, let's take a quick look, see if there's anything else we can learn. There was an animal in there. What is that? A goat? You're tossing him a rifle? Is the top hat guy? This is... Uh, that's not someone we knew. Who are you? I don't think we've met you before. Pigs. Haven't seen you before? No. But you didn't die here, so... Alright. supposed to be doing this guy is glowy another potential death I have this sudden worry that I am standing on this deck and I am just it's just dripping in corpses like I'm standing on a mound of corpses of like 60 people all right here and I don't know it because of the watch or whatever and eventually we're this place is just gonna be one huge mess Ooh, okay well let's take a look here God. Is that a person? Getting exploded? Ooh. There's the guy that gets ripped in half. He's still around. Looks like we're going to be going downstairs next. The same people we've already met. My god. So he is holding some powder and he got grabbed. And then he got exploded. Because someone shot the powder. I'm not sure. No idea who they are, but we know that this person was exploded. God, that's horrific. That's the way out. Is there anything else going on here I might take an interest in? So this was pretty early. So like, 
this was before um, before they were starting to really rip this guy apart and have all these tentacles up and around. Like, can we look over the side? No. My goodness. <clears throat> That's quite horrific, that. 